Hey, go. Hi, hi guys, welcome to Adam McCauley TV. I'm outside Old Trafford with Manchester United have beaten Everton 2-1. Thanks to Di Maria. Say it again. Falcao. Di Maria and Falcao got the goals, but it's David, David, Dave, whatever you want to call him, David De Gea who takes the headline with a man of the match performance. Two, three world-class saves in the second half, a penalty save in the first half. He's on fire. After his mistake last week and having played, being played behind an inexperienced back four, a back four that Manchester United don't field a lot of the time, I am impressed with his performances. Um, he was world class today. And that is a three points that we maybe wouldn't have got under, well, definitely wouldn't have got under David Moyes. What else impressed me today? I thought we'd matter in the hole behind two strikers. This time it was Falcao and Robin Van Persie. I thought he pulled the strings fantastically well. A few times he, he gets shoved off the ball quite easily, but we know that with Mata, but his football and Falcao and Van Persie, they play better with a proper number 10 in behind them. So when Rooney is back, whether it's Van Persie and Rooney, or Van Persie and Falcao, or Rooney and Falcao, whoever, they need to play with Mata in behind them because we play better football with that. Um, I'd be disappointed to see Rooney forced into the number 10 just so we can force all three strikers into their team. But yeah, Mata played well. Um, Di Maria, absolute world class again. But it seems he plays well for 60, 70 minutes, then goes off the boil a little bit, or just disappears, fades out of the game, gets tired. Um, and Manchester United, we started to sit back. We brought Fellaini on, he sat back with Blind, and we invited pressure onto us. We didn't want to see that. Did not want to see that happen, and we did. And it seemed, I thought they would score. Everyone else thought they'd score. But luckily, we got out there with three points. Paddy McNair played today. We were discussing whether, you know, is it can he play? Shall we just throw in, um, you know, throw in a, throw in a more experienced centre half? We didn't really have one. Black it was back though, um, but he didn't play either. We played McNair, Lukaku. I don't remember him having a shot, having a chant, having a sniff. McNair was all over him, bossed him. Great. Wasn't the greatest performance today, but it's an absolutely fantastic result. We now go into the top four, and we're not playing very well. We've heard what Louis Van Gaal said. We could play like this. Play. Nowhere near our best and we're still in the top four. What happens when we play our best and we get firing? Falcao's firing, he's comfortable at Manchester United. Rooney's back, matters in that hole. We're gonna be banging them. Get that defense strong. And I'm so, so confident in the Louis Van Gaal. International break now though. Um, I hate international breaks. Only positive is we get some injured players back. We've got two difficult games after the break, West Brom and Chelsea, so we will need them back. But we'll roll on the 28th of October and that West Brom game. Get your comments in below. Make sure you like the video. Subscribe to Adam Matt Corner TV. Check out Full Time Devils as well. We have fan cams, reviews, all of that up there for you. I'm out of here.